Hmm. I wonder what would happen if an adult said the magic word. Shazam? Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And you know, there comes a time in every boy's life when he transitions from a boy to a man, thanks to a whole bunch of requests in his YouTube comments section. And these requests were all about a Shazam transformation effect. So that's what we're doing today, gang. Now in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot a couple of different shots. In my case, I got a shot of myself sitting on the couch and I also got a shot of my son, which was not exactly the easiest thing to do. Daddy, damn hang up. On. <laughs> hang, hang on, stay there, stay there. Wait. Daddy, I understand. Be a good boy. Yeah, you stay I there. Look. You stay there. Daddy, I did that too. Up, up. <laughs> you sit there. You sit. I sit there. Sit there. I sit there. Now, I actually shot this on my motion control rig, guys, but don't feel hampered if you don't actually have something like that. You can shoot this on a tripod if you like and just have a static shot, or you can shoot it handheld. The key to making this transition effect work really well is just to make sure the framing's right on each of these shots and making sure your actor is in pretty much the exact same spot. If we do a side-by-side -side comparison of my shots, you can see the camera movement is exact because motion control rig, but myself and Dexter are in roughly the exact same position on the couch. Now you also need to head to filmlearning.com slash downloads and grab the Shazam transformation effect pack, which essentially just contains the lightning bolt and the sound effect. Now, you got all that? Well, let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and as you can see below, I have my shots set up in a comp and ready to go. You can see I have my Grant clip and of course we've got Dexter's clip so our first step is to determine where the transition is going to take place. Now naturally it's going to be after I say Shazam right here. So we can hit Control Shift D and split the clip. And then we'll just delete that back end. If we scrub back and forth between the two clips now, you can see it pretty much looks like one continuous shot. And that's what we want. Sure they do have some subtle differences, but for the most part it's very smooth. Now gang, I synced up the movement of these two clips in Premiere by layering them on top of each other, lowering the opacity, and then just on the top layer, I scrubbed that sort of back and forth and matched them up exactly. Now this is obviously a little bit easier for me since the two shots were shot on a motion control rig, but the same principle applies to any shots. Just trying to marry them up as best you can using the scale and position controls, and say if your shot's on a static tripod, just feel free to ignore this part entirely because you're good to go and we'll be able to transition between the two easily. So let's do that transition. Now to do this, let's firstly add our lightning. Now I've imported this over in the project window and I totally traced this guys frame by frame from the Shazam trailer, so it matches pretty well. Now all we wanna do is just drag and drop this into our comp and change the transfer mode to screen. We'll then scrub along the timeline and match up the lightning to hit a few frames before our transition between these two clips. Here looks pretty good. I'm then going to play with the scale, position and rotation to suit my shot. I mean, it looks pretty good coming in from that angle for me. Now I think I'm also going to trim the layer as well as we don't need any more lightning after that initial strike. I just put a tail on the end for people that want to make it last a bit longer. Done. Next, it's time to add our flash of light. Now this is super, super easy, gang. All we need to do is head up here and grab a new solid, make it white, and make sure it's on top of everything. We'll then grab the pen tool, and essentially, I'm just gonna draw a big, stupid shape. Basically, whatever you like, gang. Mine looks like this. Let's then hit F and feather the absolute crap out of this. I mean, just go absolutely nuts. That looks pretty good. From there, let's hit the stopwatch on mask expansion, we'll then move forward a couple of frames and then crank that mask expansion all the way up so our solid completely fills the frame. Let's then head back to when our lightning first hits our actor and crank down that mask expansion a little. We can then skip back one more frame, 
hit Control shift d and delete that front clip entirely. Let's then skip ahead one frame or two frames after the white completely fills the screen and then we're just gonna trim that layer to end there. Nice. Now if we've done this right, when we check out a preview, the lightning should strike, the white blast fills the screen and bam, our new hero emerges. Now, let's add some cherries on top gang just to make this look a bit better. Firstly, we're going to add a smoke blast into our transition. For this, I'm using a 4K dust wave from Action VFX Dust Waves Volume 2. Now, if you check out the download pack, you are going to find a 720p version of this blast that you can use in your own projects. Now, if you are interested in picking up the 4K version, which looks way better, head to actionvfx.com and be sure to use the code FILMLEARN for 10% off your purchase. Now, I'm going to open the blast right in here and I'm going to trim it to start just before it fills the screen right here. I'll then drop it on above both of our clips right on the point where the white fills the screen. I'll then set the transfer mode to screen And I also want to sell this being smoke and not dust, so I'm going to head up to color correction and add a tint to make it sort of a gray white. Much better. Now if I just scrub between the two clips, you can see the white fills the screen and then we have a whole bunch of smoke billowing around. Nice. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add a bit of brightness ramping to both shots to just sell the whole lighting fall off from the blast. So let's select our grant layer right here, head to effect, color correction and add brightness and contrast. I'll then head to the first point our lightning is on screen and hit the stopwatch on brightness. I'll then skip ahead a few frames and crank that up to a maximum of 150 to completely blow out the shot. I'll then do the exact same thing in reverse on my Dexter layer. Add a brightness and contrast, crank it up to 150, hit the stopwatch, head forward a few frames and crank it back down to zero. If we check out a preview now, we have our Shazam transition complete with light fall off and a smoke blast. Now, you might ask how I did the glowing bolt on Dexter's shirt. Well, that was actually pretty easy. I simply took his clip into Mocha AE, I rotoscoped the bolt, tracked it, and then I exported that shape layer back into After Effects and added a glow to it and bam, he now has a glowing bolt on his shirt. I might actually go through the process of this a bit more on the next stream, but for now, that is another effect. Done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if an adult said the magic word. Shazam. Shazam. So guys, that's my take on the Shazam transformation effect from the Shazam trailer. As you can see, if you get those shots to marry up properly, it's a really easy effect. But for now guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single Film Learning episode. I've got two other episodes of Film Learning right over here. I've got my social media crap above my head. Please consider pledging to the Patreon or hitting that join button below and join me on a live stream. We do a couple each week. And until I see you again, keep learning.